I'm in Southampton. It doesn't look much like the Southampton you might be used to. We're in the Polygon Woods, which was once a famous hotel known by Tommy Cooper as Dead Parrot Polygon. And this is where Muhammad Ali and all the big stars who visited Southampton would stay. But it was knocked down and now it's mostly student housing with a little armpit of woods out the back, which is here. Very inaccessible. But Polygon's Woods holds a secret which in my opinion should be the very start of the old way. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Check this out. You've got to cross this mulch, excellent good mulch, and then continue through here, avoiding dead things. It's not a savoury place by any means. It's not nice. I don't know why, but there's needles. Not a cool place at all, but worth it. Sometimes you have to go through the darkness to uh, come into the light. Honestly, it's grim, but wonderful. Grim and wonderful. Welcome to England. Welcome to Southampton. Welcome to pilgrimage. Welcome to life. And upon emerging, one finds a shoe, which could be what any pilgrim needs, who knows, and a bicycle, just in case you want to shortcut the journey a little bit. But we're not doing that. What we're here for is hidden behind this green fence. This flowing water which leads up to something in the distance. The Coal Well, Southampton's ancient water source and Holy Well. Now it's not exactly officially allowed to go in here because it's locked up pretty tight, but there's no sign to say don't come in. There's just the habit of fencing to overcome. And luckily, a, uh, a small gap exists for the determined pilgrim, like so. Sadly, the dog can't come in, not this time. So she stays out yonder. So very few people in Southampton seem to know about this. It's for some reason kept hidden by the council as a, a non-valuable asset, some a trouble to be locked away. But if you look, there's a whole range of places where water was historically used, I suppose, for collecting, perhaps for washing, and it still flows today. And this looks like, this looks like Victorian tiling to me. So perhaps it was in use as recently as this. With the Guardian chestnut. But there is the real treasure. The Franciscan beehive structure, which was built in the 12th century and granted to the people of Southampton as Britain's first municipally owned water supply in 1230 something. Here we have the coal well of Southampton in all her beehive glory. Isn't she a beauty? And within locked tight now. Waters flow, although we can see nothing of them. You see the original medieval structure of the doorway behind the iron gates. How beautiful is this? Well, what does a pilgrim do at a holy well? It's a question, isn't it? 
especially one that is not particularly accessible. A water, the flow of water and the flow of song have always been closely aligned. So there's a song I wrote, or a song that I rediscovered for Holy Wells, and it goes like this. Water flows, life is given, rises from earth, falls from heaven. Water flowing, so we sing, bless the Holy Spring. And the other thing we can do with a holy well is, uh, of course, take the water. And my intention, because this is Southampton's ancient, forgotten, holy well water, which would have been drunk as it was piped right into the town as a municipal water supply, would have been drunk by all the pilgrims making their way to Canterbury you know, during the heyday of pilgrimage. This was the water with which the beer would have been made as well if they weren't water drinkers. Um, so my intention is to carry some of this water all the way to Canterbury, to mix it with the well of St. Thomas in Canterbury Cathedral, which I sort of rediscovered in 2018, hidden under a drain cover in the cloister. I'll show you that. But I want to mix them together and then carry Thomas water back here in about two months to help reconnect the circuitry of this route, the waterway. And that's my intention. I mean, the water looks good, but I'm going to purify it. I have this purifier. It's in there somewhere. And so I'm going to do that now. So best be safe, hey. Delicious, clean water, fit for drinking. Mm. It's chalky. So thank you to the Colwell of Southampton. Miss you flow ever on. <laughs>